Next, we're going to listen to something very, very interesting. This is a CD set from Radio Liberty. Excuse me. And we have here Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan attended a medical meeting on March 20th, 1969. Let me zoom into that a little bit. The speaker was Dr. Richard Day, who told the audience to turn off their recorders and not take notes because he was going to tell them what was going to happen. Some of you were talking about communism. Well, what I'm talking about is much bigger than communism. Dr. Dunnigan re realized the message was important, so he tried to remember what was said and made notes later. This is one of the most important CD sets ever recorded. Now this is a very, very interesting uh, set of recordings made by this man. There, there is a group of very rich, very powerful men which are designing the Antichrist One World Kingdom, the One World Government, the One World Religion. And this man, Dr. Richard Day, who later became, <coughs> excuse me, became the head of Planned Parenthood, he told this group of medical doctors what they were doing to bring about this new order. Okay, so let's listen to this. Another area of discussion was religion. Uh, this is a, an avowed atheist speaking. Uh, and he said, religion is not necessarily bad. A lot of people seem to need religion with its mysteries and rituals, so they will have religion. But the major re religions of today have to be changed because they are not compatible with the changes to come. The old religions will have to go, especially Christianity. And a new religion can be accepted for use all over the world. It will incorporate something from all of the old ones to make it more easy for people to accept it and feel at home in it. Most people won't be too concerned with religion. They will realize that they don't need it. In order to do this, the Bible will be changed. It will be rewritten to fit the new religion. Gradually, key words will be replaced with, with new words having various shades of meaning. Then the meaning attached to the new word uh, can be close to the old word. And as time goes on, other shades of meaning of that word can be emphasized and then gradually that word replaced with another word. Um, I don't know if I'm making that clear, but the idea is that uh, everything in Scripture need not be rewritten, just key words replaced by other words, and uh, the variability in meaning attached to any word can be uh, used as a uh, tool to change the entire meaning of Scripture and therefore make it acceptable to this uh, new religion. Most people won't know the difference, and this is another one of the times where he said, the few who do notice the difference won't be enough to matter. Then followed one of the most surprising statements of the whole presentation. He said, some of you probably think the churches won't stand for this. And he went on to say, the churches will help us. There is no elaboration on this. Uh, it was unclear just uh, what he had in mind when he said the churches will help us. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? How would a man hear this back in 1969? You know, why were they talking about replacing the Bible? And by changing the language of the Bible. And then yet that's the very philosophy that you'll hear from most pulpits. We can't understand the King James Version anymore. The words are archaic. The words need to be changed and updated. Interesting. 